Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another edition of Mr. Advice. Gonna answer a few of your questions, as always. Um, you have a problem, a question, send it in, and I'll do my best to answer it. Seems I gotta repeat this multiple times because people don't seem to understand that I get a shitload of questions and I can't answer everybody's questions. Everybody's questions, excuse me. So if it's a life or death situation, an emergency, I mean, I'll try to get to it, but don't wait out on me, you know? I, I can't, you know, I can't guide you and hold your hand through every little problem. Sometimes you gotta take matters in your own hands. Alright, so I try to get to everybody. But it's impossible. <clears throat> Our first question comes from Funny Josh Videos. Yo, Faded. I've been working out for four years now. And for two years now, I have been trying to get abs. Sit Sit-ups don't work for me. Any advice on how to get abs? All right, first of all, if you're constantly doing sit-ups, um, you're not gonna get anywhere. You gotta do crunches. You know what's good? Have the dumbbells, the weights. Like, for example, let's say this is a dumbbell. By the way, this video is brought to you by Coca-Cola Zero, baby. Ah, that's refreshing. Let's say this is a dumbbell, right? Like this, like a teapot, you hold that 20 pound dumbbell and go like that. You're working on, on your, you know, on your abs, on your stomach now. You see that? You're going to feel it. Do that. Like that. Look at me. I'm a little teapot, short and spout. This is my thingy and this is my thingy. You hold the dumbbell, you know what I'm saying? You start working out and then you, you get like Batista and shit. And you can also look up on YouTube video. You can do some on YouTube. Look up YouTube videos. You got people there that tell you how to do ads. Um, another question from Funny Josh videos. My ex girlfriend made a fake Facebook account of me and added all my friends, saying shit to all my friends. Now all my friends hate me and they do not believe me that it is her because she looks like an innocent bitch. She sounds like a bitch. I called the cops, but they really did not do anything. What should I do? Should I kick her ass? I don't want to hit a girl, but she has been a big bitch lately because she broke my heart, cheated in front of me. She played with my heart for nine months. I think she deserved to get an ass kick in front of me. What do you think? I am 16 and she is 13. Okay, first of all, you should obviously have told your friends. I'm pretty sure you did about the situation that, listen, there's somebody talking shit, uh, uh, this bitch made a fake Facebook ca account, yada, 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 and they should be supportive and understand of the situation, all right? But this 13-year-old bitch, it's, <sighs> she's 13. Her little fucking mindset is, hey, I'm a 13-year-old girl, you know, I'm cute, I'm young, I can get away with anything. That's just me, you know, I'm a 13-year-old girl, yeah, I'm Melissa. You know, Brad's girlfriend, yeah. Brad's little young pussy girlfriend. Dude, the best thing you could do is ignore her, alright? So don't show her. Because this is a 13-year-old girl. It's, it's kind of tough. I know how you want to smack her, but she's just a 13-year-old girl. Yes, she doesn't deserve an ass kicking, but best thing you could do is just ignore her, block her, tell your friends to do the same thing. You know, hey, put a restraining order. Have you told the parents, her parents at least? Like, listen, your daughter's doing this. I don't want to have to, you know, go to court or something. I'm not sure if you can uh, file a restraining order against a 13-year-old. Maybe somebody can help me with that. But save the messages, you know, print them out. Just save them. Uh, you, you might want to need it in case, you know, she tries to, uh, you know, in case she tries, what's the word I'm looking for? In case she tries to accuse you of something that you didn't do. Print out the messages, save all her nasty texts, messages, print it out, whatever you got to do. So that way, in case she goes too far with it, at least um, when you're in court, you will have evidence to support that she started it first and she's a, a, man, a manipulating, lying bitch. All right? Best thing I can tell you, you know? Because she looks like the type that she will instigate something and accuse you of something that you uh, haven't done to her. Our next question comes from what pisses me off 710. What the fuck should I do when I have a stalker? 
Easy buddy. Oh yeah, by the way, I gotta promote your uh, page on the bottom. This guy does rants from New York. He does rants, pretty loud rants, but I enjoy his videos. So I'll post your link at the bottom, dude. What pisses me off 710? What the fuck should I do when I have a stalker? Um, depends on the situation. How bad is it? You know, I, if it's like a, if it gets bad, like I said, people, hey, file a restraining order. You know, you make a report, a harassment, uh, what if, you go to the police station, make sure you have the, the stalker's address, the personal information, you go to the police station, and you file a harassment charge against her. So, you know, you, you go to court for it, you have the evidence printed out, same with you, dude, same with you. This is similar to the uh, jo funny Josh's videos questions, all right? Try to ignore them first. If it gets out of hand, you file a restraining order, a harassment charge, whatever the fuck you want to do. Okay, our next question comes from Anonymous. Uh, just today I wrote on the walls, or as people would say vandalizing, of two of the school bathrooms. However, instead of writing stupid, pointless, Neanderthal, Neanderthal, gangster shit, or anything like that, I wrote quotes by Frank Zappa and George Carlin concerning the bullshit with the education system in the U.S. I have not been caught yet, and I'm honestly... And I honestly felt invigorated, and it gave me a self-esteem boost. However, can I get caught? However, can I get caught for doing this? My advice question is, should I keep on spreading their words? I've been educating myself on government and history lately. <clears throat> and I felt like I had to do something to voice my opinions instead of doing nothing. I'm not that good of a speaker, therefore I write it anonymous, anonymously. Many people would probably laugh like the Brads and Chads, yeah, or ignore my messages, and the messages would most likely be washed off, but I want to keep doing it anyway. I apologize for a long question, but I'm dead serious about it. Any way to protest, to protest against the school system or anything related to it besides this? Uh, here are some of the quotes I've written. Once you cut out the bullshit they teach you in school, life gets really simple. By George Carlin. Okay, this is a long question. I can't believe I actually read it. Uh, you can't. Get, you could get in trouble if you get caught, obviously. You know, because you're vandalizing school property. 